All right, we're back on the Palmetto Pigskin Tour. Phil and company over at Allen University evidently experiencing a couple of little technical glitches. So we'll try and get that fixed here in just a couple of moments before we hit the uh, bottom of the hour. In the interim, 888-898-2525 if you'd like to join us here on the uh, program. That sounds like Phil might be there. I don't think we are back. Josh clearing his throat. There no, that was go. me. That was me. Back over to Corn at Allen University. Yep, yep, sorry about that. A little line droppage happens from time to time, but we are back at Allen University, and we're visiting now with two of the Yellow Jacket players. We have running back Bo Harrington, program's all-time leading rusher, and we have one of the top defensive backs in the SIAC, Sherrod Simmon, both a couple of seniors. So they've been around here for a while, and Bo, uh, first of all, congratulations on your career. I appreciate it. Being the all-time rusher, that says something. How's it going with this new coaching staff? Oh, it's going great. Everything's been jumping around here. There's a lot of excitement in in the Yellow Jacket era right now, so we're very excited about this upcoming season. Apparently they, they're they going to want to run the football a good bit. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That makes you happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. Are you going to run it more? Are you going to have more running opportunities than before? Oh, yes, of course, of course. Uh, you know, as you said earlier, was in the air raid type of offense with Coach Key, and then now – uh, Coach Pro, he's more balanced, so we yeah. should get a lot, a lot more worse. How, how's the offensive line look in front of you? Oh, it looks great. Dude, better than it's ever been. These guys have, these coaches have done a lot of great, good recruiting. So I'm very excited about how things are going to look this season. Sherrod, what about the defense? Uh, you heard Coach Bowler, your new defensive coordinator, and uh, he's a guy that coaches excellence everywhere he's been. Um, what's it like with you guys with him? Um, Playing with Coach Bull, where it's, it's always a chip on our shoulder mentality. Um, we can't come out and think that we're going to walk around at practice. We're going to have to run between the lines. We're going to have to come and put our first, our front foot forward every 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 snap, every minute, every every time we touch the field. We have to hit 100% all yeah. the time. He, he demands a complete effort. The man fully respect. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of things are you doing on on the defensive side, formation wise, and uh, you know different calls and things like that? Um, we run basically a four two five, you know, but um, with Coach Bug, where we um we play a little this and that, like he like to say, we play a little some of everything, and um, every day is something new. We're gonna make a new call every single day. We just learning as we go. Uh, has his defense been um, difficult to pick up? Uh, no, sir, it, it hasn't. Um, in my career, I played at John C. Smith with Coach um, Barry Tripp. He actually coached under Coach at um, Winston-Salem State. So I've been in this defense twice now in my college career, so it's it's kind of easy to pick up for me. So I pull the younger, younger ones under my, um, my wing and teach them. You know, Bo, um, you've grown with this program. You've gone through the NIA part and the transition to Division Two, and now you guys are full-fledged Division II uh, program. So uh, as one of the older guys here who's been here for a while, what, um, what's it kind of mean to you to see where this program has gotten to? <clears throat> it means the world. Um, when I first got here, I was around a, a bunch of the older guys who were really in the rough part of it when they were, like, really NIA, not even transitioning. So yeah. <laughs> just to be around them guys and see where it was then and look now how we're getting a bunch of new gear, a new practice field, it just it just means a lot. And I just can't wait to see what the program does in the future. Where's the new practice field? Uh, It's it's right across the street. So Oh, that – Thing yeah. across the street, yeah. so that's yeah. where you're yeah, still yeah. practicing. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Well, I'm, I know what you're saying. The new turf mm -hmm. that they have down there, but they still got to get you a full hundred yards yeah. out there sooner or later, yeah. don't they? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's it like practicing out there? Uh, 
I tell the people all the time, even the freshmen that came in, they was like, man, that feels small. I say, yeah, it's small until you get out there and just, <laughs> hey, it gets real long when you're uh, doing team and scrimmage and stuff. Like, they feel like it never ends. feel like a 100-yard field. Yeah, know. it's football, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, Football's yes, football, whether it's 100 or, or 50 yards. Uh, Sherrod, um, what are your expectations of the defense from what you've been able to see? Is this going to be – can this be kind of a shutdown defensive unit? Yes, sir. Um we take very much pride in stopping the run and with Coach Huff. Um, he He's very hard on us about stopping the pass, not coming up too fast on run plays when we already know we have five, six people in the box already. Um, they, they, be, they demand a lot out of us. What has been your strength as a player? What, what's made you an all-conference performer? Uh, my tackling ability and me knowing that what the offense is trying to do in and out every week um, reading coverages just doesn't come from film. It also, you know, goes over into doing t- stuff on the field. You can't just watch film and think that that's going to make you a good player. You actually have to apply it on the field. You had a pick six last season. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. I, I, describe it for us. What happened? Um, we was playing Central State, and I think we was down 14-0, to zero, and um, the dude ran an out route, and I picked, I picked the ball off and um, cut across the whole field. I was tired. We was, <laughs> was up there in Ohio. The air different up there, but, yeah. yeah. Did you high step into the end zone? Nah, I didn't high step, but I threw up the, um, the hooks when I got up to the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, All right, so you guys open up against a familiar face. Um Bo, how you feeling about facing your former coach in the opener? Uh, I just feel like it's just a regular game. I'm more focused, uh, not because more so of him, but because, because it's a conference game. So, mm. you all know you got to win a conference game in order to have a shot at the uh, the site championship. So, that's where more where more of my focus is. It's going to be fun to play against my former uh, teammates, but yeah. the, the goal is just to win a conference game. Sherrod, how about you as far as uh, – I feel the same way. Yeah. It's, just, it's just the game that's in our way. Um, we are taught to um, only care about the next play, the next snap, the next minute of the game. And so if Clark is our first game, that's who we're worrying about right now. And that's all that matters. What do you like most? Uh, I'll start with you, Bo. What do you like most about Coach Pearl? Uh, just the structure of things. Uh, things are very structured, very organized, and he's going to make sure you get all the knowledge you need to in order to be successful in the field. So just the structure of how things are. How about you, Sherrod? I like that he doesn't just, um, let us come in and do whatever we want. Actually more about the team and what can you do to help this team win and take the next step into the future. Guys, we wish you a bunch of luck this season. Uh, continue to build on uh, what you guys have got going as you take that step full-time into a Division II football now. So best of luck to you. Appreciate you guys coming over. Hope you have a healthy season, and we'll keep a close watch on you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. All right, Bo Harrington and Sherrod Simmons from here at Allen University, and we'll be back after this break.